What's up, everybody? Today we are going to be uh, refactoring Z type. Uh, here's Z type. I'll play it there. I, I hit enter on accident. Didn't mean to. Uh, okay, we aren't getting any. This is odd. Is it because I hit enter or something? What happened? Oh, that's weird. We don't have any errors. <laughs> what? Okay. There. There was one. We got three points. Why is it only giving me one? <laughs> it's broken. What happened? I don't understand. Okay. Okay. Well, as you can see, we push a new word. Um, we'll, we'll fix this in a little bit. Actually, I'd like to fix it now while we can... Um, Okay, so mod 60, noise frame count greater than map, score should be more like 0 0.03 there. So we push a new asteroid. Looks like Minecraft. Okay, let's see. Uh, field. Field, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, my bad. It's actually this that needs to go down. Okay. Let's try this. Script. Okay, maybe it should just be random. <laughs> there. There we go. P5, P5, there we go, that's better, don't really, uh, there we go, okay, cool, 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 now, um, see, and then we have these random, uh, dips in the amount of, uh, things, <laughs> okay, uh, let's, Let's see, GitHub, and let's let's let one fall. Actually, let's see. Do do do. Script. There we go. That's a game over. Um, it didn't draw a game over, although. Okay, I can't type anymore. Okay, we have draw laser. We have random color, and we have end game. Oh. Okay, it just logs game over. Oh my goodness. What did, what did I forget? I forgot to have it draw. Okay. Let's let's do this then. Um this will be good. Fill 255. And then we need to say let's say center. And then text game over uh, width over to height over to there. Let's try it. Let's let it just fall. <laughs> um, there we go. Game over. Let's make it much bigger. Let's try it now. GitHub. GitHub again. Okay, one second. Let me check something. Uh, JavaScript read from Google spreadsheet. Can I do that? I don't want to do. Huh. Yeah, because then I'd have to download an API. I don't think I want. Yeah, I won't worry about that. I was thinking about. Okay, that's a tad big. <laughs> Let's, uh. Let's make it more like 80. That should be perfect. Now, I'm just gonna keep it as a words. Actually going to make it constant. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's go from the bottom to top. Um, documenting. Documentating. No. <laughs> Okay. Stops loop. 
draws game over message. Good, good, good. Run color generates a random color. There we go. Draw laser. Uh, draws a line. Draws laser <laughs> between ship or ground control and uh, asteroid. This is capitalized, pretty simple, um, so far at least. Um, point of ground control. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, width of line depends on progress. There we go. Um, that's what we're saying here. Um, completed text is the length. Um, completed text is what you've typed. And as long as that equals the actual text, it will increase the width. Um, so that's cool. Uh, draw base. It's really draws ground control. Let's put these whoop, uh, as a triangle. Um, okay. Planet and ground control. Uh, draws planet as a rectangle. There we go. Key press. Handles user input. So if focus, if there, if we have um, honed in on a specific asteroid, else find the asteroid to target. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Find asteroid is another method. Where is that method? Is it... Okay, find asteroid. Uh, okay, well, we'll do that in a little bit. Um, let's have a draw score. We'll just say draw score. There we go. Um, put that below draw laser. Draw score. Nope. Draw sc score is what I meant. There we go. Okay. There. Shift tab. Draw shift K. Uh, draws. The score, <laughs> pretty simple, and then we have a few more. Um, we shall say handle fields. Mm, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back up. I accidentally hit Control Z instead of Control X. Uh, handle field. Uh, we'll put that up here. Actually, put it like right here. Uh, function handle field. There. Uh, now this update draws. Let's make this a bit more explicit. There. Um, asteroid is still on screen, essentially. There we go. Can you make, can you make gems? Gems, what do you mean, gems? 
C is an old language. I don't even. I don't want to touch C, yo. I don't. I don't know about C. Actually, I mean, I could. Oh, really? They're teaching you C. Whoa. I don't know. That may be even worse than Visual Basic. <laughs> I don't know though. Maybe I'm just pretty uh <laughs> judgmental about that. Um. <laughs> do something about it i'd say because i don't think c is going to be used you know in the next years we do have a lot of infrastructure already built around c but really that's getting kicked up and we're we're moving on to higher level languages because c it was a higher level language in its time it is nowhere near it's a low level language now <laughs> um but yeah well, the first class is C, second, third is JavaScript. Why? Why not just have JavaScript through the whole way? Or have TypeScript or something like... Because JavaScript is terrible with its... You, you don't want to learn through JavaScript. You don't want to learn the actual uh, conventions through JavaScript. Uh, you'd want to use TypeScript or Java, like that. Um, yeah, also C++, that's getting pretty old too. That's like 30 years old or something. No, no, no. How old is C? C is... Whoa! Well, no, it's not that old. 27 years? 28. 28 years old. Uh, how old is C++? I don't know about this. I feel like it's... I, th I think it was before... Uh, Java? 1998? No... Was it? Um, first appeared 1983, 34 years ago. Wait, how old is C then? Forty-five. First appeared 1972. So C is a 45-year-old language. That's probably older than some of your teachers. I wouldn't. I. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Our school system is uh, teaching Visual Basic, and I offered my teacher, I'm going to help teach the class with my teacher, and I think I'll be moving it to JavaScript. So what I would do if I were you is I would, I would learn on my own, and then and then teach the class. <laughs> that's what that's what I'd do, <laughs> um, so that you could. You could like I don't know I, I wrote a whole paper about this over the summer and everything. Anyways, uh, okay. So if asteroid is still on screen. Um, reset focus. Um, uh, updates draws. Manages. Um, updates draws. We're just going to say updates and draws asteroids manages uh, field array um, increments score and it also, uh, yeah, manages uh, focus. There we go, okay. Um, Asteroid has been destroyed. There we go. Cool. Pretty simple. Handle field. Good, good, good. Um, I think we should also cut that. What's the best program for making simple 2D games? I'd say JavaScript. Um, yeah, I, it's okay. I see it. Um, I was just kind of focused. Um, I want this up here. Uh, so, yeah, I'd say JavaScript, um, with P5, the P5 library as I do it. Um, that's the reason I do it like this. Um, it's, it's super loose. Super loose, and it's almost frustrating how loose it is at some points. Um... So maybe you'd want to use an environment called processing, which is Java-based. 
and essentially it's just it's kind of a simplified version of Java and you can draw to the screen easily and it's really nice and this guy named um, this guy down in my description down at the bottom of my description and every one of my uh, games a day or refactoring games a day um, his name is Daniel Schiffman he does uh, tutorials using processing um, as I spoke of before and um, he also does p5 tutorials and uh, JavaScript tutorials so they're really nice uh, that's how I've learned a lot of uh, game programming <laughs> Well, I mean, most of it's pretty simple. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's not simple. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like uh, pretend that it's not simple because <laughs> it took a while to get fluent, as you'd say, I guess. Because I wouldn't call myself good, but fluent enough. Um, let's do attempt. Uh, attempt a new asteroid. Um, okay. Every second. Uh, more difficult as game progresses. Okay. Um, what is, is what you're programming now the same for Minecraft plugins? I'm never gonna make them but is it the same thing okay um, so no it is not this is Java which it has a lot of the syntactual um, parallels you can draw from Java if I open up Eclipse real quick I, I don't think I actually have any projects in my Eclipse but um, the syntax looks uh, similar um, actually extremely similar uh, here's Eclipse. I would definitely, definitely recommend that you you code plugins or mods. Um, I that's like one of the best things you can do because that's such a high level um, concept using an API and building off of the API. We're talking like Forge and Bucket. Um, building off that API that is a huge thing in the business world that is like one of the main things you're gonna need to learn because soon you're gonna get like you have to code using .NET or node um, some sort of framework Ruby on Rails anything really um, you'll have a framework that you're building on an already set framework and you're gonna be creating things they call them apps in the uh, web development world but uh, I would definitely recommend you get into coding plugins or mods. Um, so that's how, okay, I, I don't have any code that I can show you, but uh, I wish I did. I do have some on my GitHub, I'm fairly certain, although, um, but yeah, attempts, uh, new asteroids, attempts at creating, uh, or creates asteroids there we go okay let's do this stop position this stop position Just make it a little bit better okay this dot C goes to Color. Is Code Academy bleh, a good site for learning JavaScript? You want to make gems? What do you? I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand gems. What you mean by? Uh, what you mean by gems? Code Academy. I think I have used this before. Have I already? Can't remember. Log in. Google. I would have done it through Google if I did. I have. Oh yeah, this. Oh. I mean, I guess it's pretty good. 
um oh games games <laughs> okay i understand uh in all honesty i wouldn't i wouldn't waste my time learning through this but that's just me i i don't have time to be on my computer learning the only time i can learn is like on my phone through youtube and what you're gonna do is you're gonna search up Daniel Schiff, man. There we go. This guy. This guy has tons of tutorials. And you can just watch like a few a day. And if you code your own stuff, uh, like 10 minutes a day just trying to do something, I bet you can learn within like a month. It's crazy. Uh, I didn't know a lick of JavaScript uh, starting this summer, and now I'm like, like this. <laughs> um, actually, no, I did. I did know JavaScript a little bit. Um, I didn't know its implementations into like web development, although. Um, but you can see how many videos he has. Nature of code, processing tutorials. Uh, Super lips, Perlin noise is an interesting topic. That's very fascinating. Um, physics, where are the physics? Genetic algorithms, those are nice. Here we go. Um, these, the nature of code. I recommend you learn uh, some of these. <laughs> they go on forever. I've only watched until part four, I think. But, um,. I'd, I'd recommend you watch these videos because he goes over uh, things like uh, pendulums and polar coordinates. A lot of the things you are going to have to know uh, for creating games. Um, but yeah, that's that's essentially. Um, what are you coding with on the left? I'm using Atom, a uh, an IDE called Atom. <laughs> Adam.io. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice, you know. Um, it's pretty good. It gets the job done. Um, it's lightweight. That's what I like about it. I don't know if I'd recommend it for a starter, although. Um, but also, it being lightweight makes it a little bit easier. Um, either way. What kind of keyboard? <laughs> uh, here, I'll switch that up too. <laughs> here we go. Here it is. <laughs> and it's currently running a, uh, a profile. And it's purple and green and orange. It all fits nicely. It's actually from Easter. It's an Easter profile. Um, well, the, it looks like Easter. It wasn't created for Easter. But it was created for something else that I. Uh, anyways, this.c, this.color, replace all. Um, what happens to Minecraft? Oh, what happened? Like, the D. Okay. Um, text. I stopped playing, essentially. Um, okay, text to be typed. There we go. This dot s size. It's it's size. Okay. This dot s. Replace all. There we go. Size. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Fifteen maybe. There we go. Uh pro. Oh, we had an error. Cannot find length of undefined. Twelve. Ship. What Z type JS at draw laser? No, okay, it's odd, it's weird. That's that's the wow, okay, that really confused me. Oh, five is right there, it's not 12, it's 125. What are my specs? Ah, man, I can't even remember my specs, they're on an old video, I'd say. I used to keep them here. Maybe I have a. Let's just look. Nah, that won't do it. What if I did this? 
Can I, can I do that? Nope, that's not it. Forgot, I don't even know how to get to the control panel. <laughs> uh, no, this PC, AMD, system information. There we go. I hope this doesn't give me like <laughs> an IP, I doubt it. Uh, here we go. Um, this is the, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, i7 4790K, um, yeah. <laughs> and then the graphics card is a Radeon R9 290X. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna find my specs because I know I have them. Uh, I forgot, just checking, sorry. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, these, ooh, 1080! 1080 subs, oh, fantastic, I love it. Okay, it's on one of my old videos, old, old, old. Feedback, highlights, no, because this is just gonna link to my, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's just gonna tell you my MCSG stats. It's not gonna give you my actual uh, specifications. I forgot where I put it. This is a bummer. Um, New setup, did I put it here? No, I can't remember. Either way, here, <laughs> I'll show you then. Um, I think it's called something Valley, Death Valley, something like that. Uh, what was the actual name of it? Intel, quad core. This is it. Devil's Canyon, that's what it is. <laughs> Devil's Canyon. This is the uh, um, processor. Uh, it's pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. Don't do all this for me. It's okay. It's a. It's nice to interact with the viewers. Plus, I'm getting more people watching now by doing this than I was with coding. Um, and then R9 290X. Uh, where is it? Um, it's actually a try. I think it's been a while. Whoa, $42? What? No, 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 this isn't it. Okay, that's just the fan replacement. What? $43 for a fan replacement? That's absurd. Uh, you're here for some sick codes, bro? Okay, I'm gonna a, I'm hit it up, but here's the graphics card. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nut for the com computer, pro like, hardware also. Uh, <laughs> I actually work at a uh, computer repair place. That's why I get crazy about it. Um, here, okay. Completed text dot length. Completed text. That's why. Okay. I knew. I knew it was gonna happen. Completed text. Here we go. Right, and we have an error. One twenty-eight. I want to get this working before I completely uh, continue on my refactoring. $42, yeah, I thought it was $42, but $42 for fans, I don't know. Um, pa oh right, position. Position, position, okay, cool. Rainbow, we have another one, asteroid 25. Um, completed text right there. I'm gonna go watch the guy's videos now, bye. Have fun, learn something, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Peace, peace. Uh, I will. Thank you for the. Uh... No, it's not happening. Okay. Uh, Java. Nope, it's not having it. Uh, Andrew, you're good at Java. Oh, shucks. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh,. Java is what I um, originally learned doing. This is JavaScript, not uh, not quite Java. By the way, looking over your ag examples, A plus work. Oh, I appreciate it. This is not. This is definitely not my best things. I'm not a game programmer. This is not. I don't know. I'm I'm really not into the gaming game programming portion. I'm doing this because people. I think people enjoy game programming more than what I'd normally decide to program like like this. 
my game. This is this is something I had programmed earlier. Yeah, you do math, and it's I don't know what this is. One twenty-two or something. This is essentially the game. <laughs> One forty-three. Um, I'm much more into like the statistics of random things and and graphs and I don't know. I'm a pretty big geek for that. Uh, but yeah, you get like a rundown of your uh, accuracy and everything. And I'm proud of it, but I don't think people would enjoy watching that. <laughs> um, you can select a different operation. You can set the bounds for the random numbers. You can make the numbers different, like all natural numbers or all integers or just all real numbers. How many problems you want, you begin, and it times you each split, get your accuracy, um, and the correct answer. And it's pretty cool, I'm pretty proud of it, I like it. Anyways, <laughs> um, that was my first semi, you know, big JavaScript project, um, apart from the game. Hardcore Integrals, I know, <laughs> edition. <laughs> I, I haven't taken calculus yet, but I know an integral is some sort of part of it. Okay, YouTube. So we aren't getting any, but yeah, that code can be found at my uh, GitHub. <laughs> Winky face from Dan. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I, so, so what's going on? It's not wanting to... Uh, It's not wanting to bzz out, you know what I'm saying? It's not like shooting. I'm I'm typing in game. Actually, I'm I'm key matching now. But uh, <laughs> if I go into here, if we do focus, okay. So focus, focus is what we are focusing on. <laughs> That's uh here. I'll I'll document that. I wish I could donate, but I don't have any money. I, it's okay. It's no big deal. I'm not, like, providing for anybody. I mean, the only thing I'd use it for was saving. <laughs> and probably electronics. I don't know. I'd, I bought, like, a, an Arduino. But I'm horrible at electricity. I don't, I don't, know, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's not good. But I'm trying to learn through YouTube. Um, and it costs too much. Okay. Focus. This is the asteroid uh, the player is currently typing out. There we go. You have an Arduino? Why use JavaScript? What's up, CCV334? <laughs> How you doing? Why use JavaScript? Um, well, okay. The reason I'm using JavaScript specifically is because... It's, uh, I've got this library called P5. I don't have it, it's just what I'm using. Um, and it allows me to draw nice little things like uh, circles. Um, I drew this triangle, but I used um, a couple of functions to help me draw the triangle um, within P5. Um, it's much nicer, you get more control over uh, the canvas. Um, so is it still, okay, yeah, um, and also because I can just simply post them online and you can just kind of go to the link and start playing with them, um, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the reason. Score, planet crust, planet mantle, color of crust, color of mantle, um, wait a minute, where are we storing the ships? Color of ship. <laughs> okay, you're gonna you're gonna watch the ads. BRB if I can't donate. Oh, I don't I don't even have ads on this. I don't think. If I did, they're going to waste. But yeah, I don't have ads. Um, maybe eventually. I don't think I get enough views for ads either way. Um, so. It's not happening. Key press. Let's look at key press. Keystroke. Where is it? I can't remember. 
Um, no, no, I don't want to. Okay, <laughs> key pressed. Here we go. I do. Why is it showing ads? I could have sworn I have it not showing ads, unless Google is literally just. 10k views. I know you have to have. I I tried it before, and I'm pretty sure back then this was ages ago, like three years maybe. You'd have to have an income of a hundred dollars a month or more, um, coming from YouTube, or else they won't pay you. Um, but yeah, I don't really. I don't know. It it wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> Oh, oh, can't have ads. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe once it gets a little bit bigger or something like that, if I continue doing this. Um, we do only have three viewers, but... <laughs> okay, I don't truly really understand uh, why this isn't... Um, do we have something... We have our intact... Okay, well, I thought I had changed that, but... Um, nope. I think now text starts with char string code nice okay um we pass in the array to find asteroid uh we have a draw function i'm just gonna document this real quick draws uh asteroid yes it draws the asteroid as simple as that you do so much work. Ah, oh, shucks. It's it's not. It's, it's just kind of fun. You know what I'm saying. Although I'd I'd much rather uh, code a uh, I don't know some sort of useful something right now. I'm, I'm just doing this for you know others learning. I guess not really. Uh, you know nobody's really going to be like oh snap. It's a really fun game on this one esoteric person's <laughs> GitHub page, but yeah. Are there any alternatives to P5? I'm looking to eliminate global modules so I can integrate with other apps. Uh, P5 isn't a module, it's just uh, a script you can reference within your uh, index.html, um, just like this. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what you're talking about. From module, I'm pretty sure you're speaking of node. <laughs> it's not It's not a node module. Um, it's only client-side. Specifically only client-side. Uh, there might be a node equivalent, a node module equivalent. By the way, BRB, I'm going to DDoS you. You showed your IP. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I, I can change that. But It makes it hard to use with web browser fi browser fi you don't know how to ddos it's very simple if you know how to ping something in cmd you essentially know how to ddos um <laughs> but you just need to automate it um but yeah it's uh webpack browser fi so what are you uh doing with because i'm not exactly i have no clue what those are i'm guessing it's some sort of Webpack is this like module bundler? Is this for Node? JS, Coffee, CSS. Ooh, okay. Modules with dependencies. Okay, I'm not. So it it's in JavaScript. <laughs> um, fork me on GitHub. Get started with the documentation. It looks very clean. So, so what exactly? Ooh. No, I thought I was gonna do that every time. Modules with dependencies, static assets. So, hmm, it lets you code like Node for the front end. Oh, that's neat. So what's what's the what's the advantage of that? I mean, you already have like essentially modules when you say script like this. Um, oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. I, <laughs> um. You may. Well. Okay. 
WebGL? I, I don't know at this point. Is there something like this, WebGL, that I've heard of? Yeah, this is... <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you're on your own with that, I apologize. Um, let's see. Find asteroid key code field. It's, it's finding the focus. It's not drawing the line. Don't let me sidetrack you. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, let's see. No problem. <laughs> um, so here we have an error. I think it's because I, maybe I accidentally deleted some code. Uh, let's, let's do this. Um, uh, attracts or moves <laughs> asteroid down uh, down the screen if you lose your internet don't blame you okay I'll, I'll keep a monitor out there and everything I may have to change my um, IP midstream but it doesn't I'd have to end the stream for a sec <laughs> um, a road now this this uh, um based upon the key code um based upon code uh here let's just make it key code just makes it easier to understand um cool based upon key code um will uh this is why i should have never done this dot c replaced with this dot color <laughs> well um i'm kidding i'm 13 and i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i was i can i resemble that uh that remark i know how you feel it's okay to eventually everything makes sense <laughs> for the most part let's see um, based upon key code, we'll, uh, um, add to the completed text. Let's see. Okay. Cool. Well, that was an error that took way too long to find. Um, since we're in P5, it's, or not P5, since we're in JavaScript, it's, the land of JavaScript uh, is forgiving, yet it is unforgiving. Oh, rainbow. There we go. Let's make the the speed a function of its... Um, okay, let's say this.position.y plus equals... Ooh, what is it? Let's, let's do math.log. Mm, no. Let's do square root. What is it called again? What is the name of it? Score? Score. Okay. That's what I'll do. On increment. What is it? Do you need a good PC to code? Um, yeah, no, you don't. Um, coding is... It's really... <laughs> you really don't. Um... Score is zero, right, okay. Um, <laughs> I know for DNA graphing you need a good GPU. DNA graphing. I'm not sure what that is. DNA graphing. DNA, okay, the effect of metal ions of very DNA strand. Yo, what is up? Whoa. <laughs> Somebody made a really cool graph. Dude, these people... I love Desmos now. Because I've seen a Batman symbol. I've seen a heart. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna... DNA pattern... Yeah, I will search... Whoa, this is new. Why is this so differently colored? I don't understand. Anyways. <laughs> um, but yes. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what DNA graphing is. I, I expect it to be... Whoa, this looks interesting. Um, so, obviously, score is... Um, 
So we're gonna have to find a different, uh, maybe the size plus score plus size. This dot size. Let's try this. Whoa! Um, way too much. Can I do log times size or something? Are we getting okay? Let's just log this. <laughs> Console log that. There. Four. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Um. This dot size. Okay, let's just do this dot size times score. There we go. It won't be the same. Oh, well, no, because score is. Uh, let's do score plus one. There we go. Um, that's what I'll do, <laughs> I guess. Whoa, okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, is it? Uh, let's say, let's just log the size. Blech. It's way too big. Let's do one. Uh, whatever. We're mapping it. Um, this dot size from. What is it? From 0 to. What, like. I don't know. Ugh. Can't think of anything. Anything to really do with this. Um. Oh, uh, what could be the function for, okay, map, we're gonna go map, score from zero to uh, 1,000, um, from zero to 15. It'll just be a linear way of, well, no, we want from like one to 15, P5. So this should get uh, gradually more difficult. Script. <laughs> okay. Um, program. <laughs> Dude, I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Um, oh, day, day, bunny. BRB having dinner. Alrighty. Thanks for joining. I'll probably be ended. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow where we will be uh, coding another or refactoring another game. Um, I'm wasting a lot of time, <laughs> but yes. Uh, make speed uh, directly um, proportionate. Let's just say make speed um, uh, linear uh, based upon score. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, intact. Uh, let's just say this is color. I think a dog is whining. I hope that's a dog whining. Um, text which the user has correctly, correctly inputted. Inputted? Is that correct? These are just semantics, but imputed? Input? Past tense, inputted. Okay. Intact. Whether the asteroid is on screen or not. There we go. Okay, well, that should do it. We, uh, well, okay, let me code. Let me, uh, factor this. Okay. Uh, key code to character L is the length plus one mm -hmm. let's just say length uh, okay uh, so let's say input character so I think having different characters is really gonna Fuse me. Uh, if the character matches uh, text.
Cool, cool, cool. Side note, DNA databases and processing requires massive CPU, GPU, RAM, often clusters are needed. Probably a supercomputer. <laughs> um, this stud intact equals update intact. What is the premise? Well, uh, the premise, the premise, I guess, okay, what I'm basing this upon is the fact that, one, people might want to learn how to code games, two, they might be inspired to learn how to code games by watching me code games, um, because I'm not necessarily, like, teaching it, um, I'm just kind of running through how I go about coding a game, um, and such, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's essentially what I'm getting at, uh, <laughs> Let's see. And to say that I coded a game a day back in the summer of 2017, but that's not really much of a uh, bragging right in that respect. Uh, so find asteroids. Um, figures out which asteroid should be targeted. Yeah. Um, which asteroid? Uh, ooh. within R, let's just say field, changing it to field. Ooh. The field array should be targeted. Uh, field, 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 there we go. Um, yeah, that should be good. I'm pretty sure that concludes it. Oop. Goodness, what did I break? <laughs> dot text dot okay here. Field dot length. Game. Neato. Let's get another one. Come. Can I get a uh, another another asteroid? P five. <laughs> another P <P5>. five. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Rainbow, P5, P5. Why am I getting so many P5s? I don't understand. Uh, script, program. Okay, now we're getting a lot more. Day. Hopefully they get faster. Can't really tell at this point. Yeah, they are getting faster. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Oh man, am I gonna lose one of these? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh huh. Get up. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. There. This is getting really fast now. Mm, okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Uh, YouTube. <laughs> no, I missed an N. Dang it. Okay, one ninety two. Close enough. Close enough to my goal. Uh, I'd say that was a successful run. Uh, let's figure out what we will be refactoring tomorrow. My channel. 1080. I love that number. I love that number. <laughs> 1080. I feel like I need to screenshot it. This is my second time hitting that, but... Because a lot of people unsubbed once I started coding. Um, tomorrow, we will be programming asteroids. Ooh, that's exciting. Asteroid's a fun one. We, we go through polar coordinates and uh, translations um, quite a bit, as well as drawing uh, a bit more geometry. Really just has to do with the triangle and uh, being able to rotate it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a fun one. Uh, so be sure to tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's refactoring. 
Um, hopefully, I'll have more energy. Right now, I'm really tired um, because I have had zero sleep. Uh, no, I do not code for a living. Um, I'm hoping maybe someday I will. Uh, right now, I'm only 16, um, and I have a summer job working at a computer repair place. Um, so that's, that's why I've been so tired. It's because I've been going to the computer repair place for a really long time each day, um, on top of the cross-country practice. <laughs> so that's fun. Cross-country practice begins at 6 a.m., um, and I have to get there even earlier <laughs> to pick people up. But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, um... I'll stop complaining. <laughs> I'm not even complaining, but that it's fun. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, but yeah, I would. I would definitely. I think I would um, code for a living. I definitely would. I would. I would change my current job for that. But it's only a summer job anyway. So keep it on my man. My code is only ten percent skills. Well, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, I'll tune in tomorrow. This looks fun. Awesome. Sounds great. Sounds like a good deal. Well, I'll see you guys then. Um, I'm probably going to uh, go have a snack, do some stuff, and then go to bed. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate all the support. I really do. Makes it makes it enjoyable. It really does. Sometimes I don't enjoy doing this as much because game programming game programming isn't really my thing but it's fun when viewers come it is it really is anyway guys i'll see you guys tomorrow peace peace